inside Rattlers football. I'm Peter Garbo. To my right here is Matt Agleski. The Rattlers went to Green Bay and they played the most complete game of their season. They started out quick. They scored 28 straight points. And on defense, they only allowed 13 points in both halves. Yeah, well, for me, it's the defense that really stood out. After struggling a little bit against Cedar Rapids, I think they rebounded quite nicely. They sacked the quarterback five times, forced three interceptions, and it's like they figured things out a little bit. That's right. Let's get to the highlights. On the opening kickoff, the Rattlers tried to squib the kick, but it bounced off a Green Bay lineman and was recovered by the Rattlers. Arizona would later score on the drive. Later on in the first, Rattlers up 14, Blizzard in the red zone. The pass is intercepted by Arkeith Brown. Yeah, and the Rattlers' secondary was a big part of the first half. Interceptions by both Arkeith Brown and Alan Chapman kept the Blizzard from scoring. In the second quarter now, Rattlers up 21. Jeff Ziemba finds Jamal Miles to put the Rattlers up 28 to nothing. Yeah, the Rattlers really dominated from the start. They scored four straight touchdowns on their first four possessions, and Green Bay just had no answer. Near the end of the first half, Green Bay kicking off, and Desmond Epps sees daylight and takes it 57 yards for the score, putting the Rattlers up 35-13 to at halftime. Fast forward to the third, Rattlers up 28, Ziemba looking deep. He finds Epps again for a 47-yard touchdown. Yeah, and a big game for both of these guys. Yemba finished with six touchdowns and Epps had three, being named the IFL's Offensive Player of the Week. The Rattlers' defense would only allow Green Bay to score twice in the second half and would go on to win 62-26. to Rattlers quarterback Jeff Ziemba did a tremendous job of leading the offense last week. He threw for 11 of 13, five touchdowns and no interceptions. We had a chance to speak with him today. Really, like I said, just taking what they gave us. Um, our receivers did a great job getting off the press when they were doing that and just finding a way to get open and me just getting the ball to them. Um, I'd say probably just keep them working on my footwork. Um, the, the indoor game is a lot faster, so everything from a three-step drop to five-step drop, everything needs to be faster. So just working on my footwork and trying to get the ball out quick and getting it to these playmakers. Uh, I mean, I definitely know what I'm doing now. Um, Offensive line is unbelievable. I've only been touched a couple times uh, sack-wise. So, I mean, it's, it's nice sitting behind them. We've got great running backs to get in the hole and make it easy for them and hard for them to stop a play-action pass. Uh, but, yeah, we're starting to click now and we're trying to keep going. It was a big win and a big win for head coach Kevin Guy, who is now tied for the winningest head coach in Arizona Rattlers history. He tied Danny White going into Iowa, where he has a chance to be the winningest head coach in history. Yeah, and there's a lot of playoff implications in this game. These are the top two teams in the IFL standings right now. This is the only team the Rattlers have lost to so far this year. They have a game and a half lead over them, and Iowa does hold the tiebreaker, and they'll face each other again in a couple weeks. So. Lots at stake in this one. That's right. An interesting fact, the Rattlers have not beaten Iowa yet since we moved to the IFL, so it's another hurdle we have to pass. If you want to come out, catch the game at Sunday at 3 o'clock at the Talking Stick Resort Arena. But if you can't make it, the game will be on Fox Sports Arizona, on YouTube, or on 1580 The Fanatic.